Hello, Scorpio. This is Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly reading. I think I'm bringing it for the week of September versus October. But uh, anyway, guys, I am live here every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Come on, be a good card. All right, Scorpio. From 7 to 9 Eastern for a $5 live Q&A. Um, if you're subscribed to the channel, once I go live, you will receive notification. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you can receive notification. Your cards are just falling out, Scorpio. 7 to 9 p.m. Each question is five bucks. And that is Eastern Time. Okay. And Pentacles. And Court Pentacles just came on out. Plus Venus, her beautiful self. And showed out. You got somebody who is... Mm -hmm, you got the... You got the King of Pentacles with the Empress. King, the Pentacles are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And of course, the... Um, you got Taurus again there with... Uh, okay, alright. Ace of Cups just gone and fell out. And I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the um hanged man because it just sat on top of my hand on the deck. And look at that. You got the high priestess. I love that card. Okay, Scorpio, you got slow, slow but steady progress. Slow and steady wins the race. You are headed towards your desired person. That stable relationship, the birth of something new and love in your life. All you need to do is maintain control and listen to your gut. Your gut. All right, Scorpio, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Ain't like that was quick. Um, yeah, you're headed towards love. You're headed to. This is not any just. This is not just any love, Scorpio. This is your person, by the way. Because believe it or not, again. For me as a reader, the two cut the two the pairing in the tarot, which is the perfect pairing, in my opinion, is the king of pentacles with the queen of cups. Right? He's the king of practicality, she's the queen of love. I was hoping to see her, but disappointment came out. Came out instead. Oh, there's his wife. Yeah, see, you're headed towards your person. You're headed towards love. Don't let this freak you out because it's almost like I just said to you, just, you know, make sure that you, you know, maintain your flexibility. Remain flexible, right? Remain flexible and let it happen to you. Don't try to force it. Don't try to strong arm it. Just let it happen on its own, right? That's why I kind of, the disappointment is there because I kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, especially in your past, you were disappointed because it's almost like you know that's who you deserve because you're the queen of pentacles. You you know that's who you deserve. You got the two of cups here. You don't deserve anything less. But it's like the universe has... Hey! The universe has been bringing you like, you know, pieces of baloney when you know you deserve steak. You know what I mean? And, um, and I'm happy because... The star card, star card fell on the floor, right? So there is your happiness, okay? So Scorpios, I am going to give you a very, very simple formula, okay? You are headed towards your person, right? You are headed towards the love of your life. This is not somebody, again, who, who you know, kind of came across before like they were the king of pentacles and they were the fucking you know, joker, right? No, this is your person. It's taken long, right? It's taken very fucking long, like so fucking long, okay? But it's going to happen. This Knight of Pentacles is a sure fire thing, okay? Now, remember I told you guys in previous videos, your emotional endurance sucks. That's why if something takes long, it kills you. Right? Because emotion, excuse me, Scorpios are not used to waiting emotionally for long periods of time. That shit is your kryptonite. Right? 
And speaking of kryptonite, it's like, yeah, in the past, right? It's almost like you struggled to get or meet or find that perfect person. The knights are perfect people. Now, I don't mean perfect as in perfection, but I'm saying they're bringing a lot to the table. You know what I mean? They're bringing a lot to the table. You see what I'm saying? But every time you was in it, you know, and y'all know how I feel about this card, right? Because it's almost like, did you get disappointed because of you or did you get disappointed because of your person, right? Because that person is standing there with all that shit on. They can't see shit. They too hot. Nothing get it. Nothing's getting in. Nothing is getting out. It's almost like they're concentrating only on the three cards, right? So it's almost like, to an extent, this is not really self-sabotaging behavior, but this is discouragement like 101, right? But again, was it the situation or was it your perception of the situation? For the Five of Cups, the this, this disappointment is a perception, Okay, and that's why you guys to an extent don't necessarily endure for long periods of time in love because your perceptions hurt you more than actual people, right? But this person's still coming through, you know what I mean? The only thing, again, that you have to do is let go of your perception, which is exactly what the hanged man is. Let go of your old way of thinking. Let go. Please take this freaking robe and this cloak off, right? Shed a layer of your past that you no longer need so you can bring in your future, right? Your future is the king of pentacles. Now again, say to me, Alex, how do you know? What do you say? How is that possible? Because the queen is sitting right here. Right? That's divine partnership. That's divine partnership. This is divine partnership, right? The birth of something very stable and very long term. Okay? Not only that, but you have these here as well. The ace of cups with the sun. That is when you open your heart, right? Honey, the sun just shines on in. The sun just, just good times, just joy, just love, just happiness, just growth, just expansion. You know what I mean? Now, let me continue reading on, right? You got the two. She's the queen of queens, first of all. She's the queen of all the queens, the empress. But you have the most practical, secure, reliable queen in the deck, which is the queen of pentacles. And who's on the table with her? Her husband. Oh, wait, look in, in the middle between them is the giver of life, is the, is the nurturer, right? Is is the one who breathes life into situations. Scorpio, bong, bada, bong, bong. It's right here, okay? Now, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record. All y'all gotta do <laughs> is just go with the flow. Don't try to grab the wheel. Don't go putting your foot on nobody's neck. Just keep going, doing what you need to do. Listening to your gut, yes, you know, new, new slate, happy-go-lucky, carefree, just la, 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 right? It's almost like to an extent Scorpio, God, angels, and universe are saying don't concentrate on it. Don't think about it. Just let it happen. Don't think about it. Just let it happen, which is hard for Scorpios because believe it or not, even though Scorpios are a water sign, Scorpios are very mental and air, okay? Scorpios be inside their heads, but... If you can kind of just maintain this air of flexibility and openness and carefreeness, you know, there this situation, I was going to say there's going to be something that comes and opens your heart, but this situation right here, I can't even say there's going to be something that comes and opens your heart because it's sitting right here, right? It's sitting right here. Your equal person, your match, your mirror, your equal cup. Who are the equal cups in this reading? King and Queen of Pentacles. The Empress is the giver of life, the nurturer, the Queen Mother. Okay, she gives birth to the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. I mean, she's uh, she's right next to the King of Pentacles, and she is over the Queen of Pentacles. Scorpio, 
don't do anything crazy, okay? Just just look ahead. Just look ahead. Don't do anything crazy, right? He ain't even looking ahead. He's got his head in the clouds. He's like, ah, la, la, la. Oh, it's a nice and bright and sunny day. It feels so good. I got my dog. I got my sandwich. Everything is great. As long as you can continue to manage your perception, to let go, to remain flexible, to kind of like stay in this air of wonder, right? This whole taking a leap of faith, this whole letting God do it, letting go and letting God, right? Scorpio, if you can maintain that, if you can maintain that, this is going to happen. God is going to shine this, the, the light of happiness and joy over you and your relationship and your heart. And again, I will say to you, say this to you again, these are the most stable uh, king and queen in the tarot. They are the most secure. They are the ones who are going to be around until, you know, there's no such thing as around anymore. Okay? Um, they're also the king and queen in a pact of practicality as well. Now, here's the fun part of this reading, right? Now we're talking air, which is being in your head, right? But it's almost like it could be a struggle for you. You know what I mean? You could kind of... You could struggle a bit because you probably won't be able to see it, right? But you guys are probably one of the most psychic signs of the Zodiac. So God, angels, and universe are saying, yeah, you can't see it. You don't know when it's coming. And yeah, we acknowledge that the shit is taking long as fuck. But Scorpio, Simba, remember who you are, right? As in, listen to your gut. If you start to get too wound up and you start to manhandle a situation, listen to your gut. Your gut is basically, basically saying to you, please, Hammer, don't hurt him. Don't do it. Loosen it up. Like, don't go and mess up that energy. Don't go and interrupt. Don't go and create a ripple in that water unnecessarily. And again, we know you can't see it. We know you have to rely on your gut a million percent. But Scorpios, that's why you're freaking as psychic as you are, to rely on that gut. Okay? Now, not only that, but what I also feel too, especially with the two of swords sit here with the, the high priestess, that basically says to me that you're going to have no choice but to rely on your gut. But guess what? Your gut is basically going to be telling you and guiding you that, yo, incoming, you have forward communication. They could freak you out a little bit because again, you don't see it. You don't know where it's coming. You don't know if this person is coming in with this sword to hurt you or to help you. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to have to rely on your gut. You're not. Look at the king of cups, right? The universe is not going to give you all kinds of signs and information because Scorpio, they know that you're psychic. They know that you can see this shit before your feet hit the floor in the morning time. You see what I mean? So I do kind of feel like to an extent you're being kept in the dark, kind of quote unquote on purpose. And you're being kept in the dark so you don't interrupt the process. You know what I mean? You're being kept in the dark and you're being told to rely on your intuition um, so you don't mess up the process. We know it's taking long. Shit. We know it's almost been taking a freaking lifetime to get you here, to get you to this place. But Scorpio, hang out. It's coming. We know you've been disappointed in the past because we know this is what exactly we want. Even if you're a male, this could be your female. If you're a female, this could be your male. Or male, male, female, female. Gender doesn't freaking matter to energy, right? But we know, again, it's taken some time and you've been disappointed and depressed for so long. And we apologize at the end of the day. But trust us, it's coming. It's coming. We hear your cry. We hear your prayer. It's coming. You have to keep the faith. You have to keep the faith and you have to keep your heart open, okay? Um, and at the same time, again, don't get all up in your head, okay? Stay flexible, stay open, stay loving, stay, you know, focused. Don't stay too focused where you're like OCD focused, right? Because again, that could kind of, you know, help, that could, you know, that could make you struggle basically, right? So just listen to your gut. God's got it. Universe has got it. All right, Scorpio, wonderful reading. I hope that absolutely helps. If it does resonate, please go ahead, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.